Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Being delusional uh, makes you sometimes um, make major mistakes. And I hope mistakes, some mistakes you can repair, some mistakes you can't. Some, mistake, uh, some mistakes could be uh, total, I um, mean, total, total destruction for the subject who makes these mistakes uh, based on uh, delusion. Or maybe in an ideology that uh, you're too loyal to the ideology and with false, um, uh, the false sense of strength and self-confidence self uh, self that gets you to self-destruction. I think some of the guys in charge of us are. They are delusional based on this uh, paranoid sense or... Uh, maybe narcissistic sense of grandeur. They think they're more than they are, extraordinary and nobody can oppose them using our country. And therefore you implement some ideologies of superiority or military su uh, superiority, economic superiority, political superiority. And you think that you can do almost anything you want. And even facing reality or examples that the dark clouds are gathering in the, hor at the horizon, you still, in your delusion, see that as you know, a bright day. I will tell you how a uh, direct experience <laughs> when I was working on a roof uh, in the United States of America, how uh, someone said that where the dark clouds, uh, where you see the dark clouds, there's not raining over there. So the delusional, no, he knew what he was talking about. That's a different story. So let's go back here. We have here an article from CNN. And <clears throat> this article says, and I'm going to show you the title, and I want to discuss. Countries are clamoring to join BRICS group, South Africa says, as Russia takes up leadership. And I will show you how many countries want to join this economic click-click block. And uh, in the West, that is not viewed as dark clouds at the horizon. No, because they say, Psst, that little cloud over there and that little cloud over there, they could not face us. We're too strong, aren't we? Yeah, we identify as strong. Therefore, we are strong. Hurra! So that's a delusion. Uh, one of the reasons why the United States got smacked here and there or has problems is because of this delusion of grandeurs thinking oh we nobody can oppose us we can that's true most of the countries cannot oppose you maybe about four can oppose you can and will oppose you um, i'm not talking about countries that are vassal to the united states of america great britain or germany or france that potentially could oppose they will not because they are owned already by al capone they're on working on al capone's plantation i'm talking about russia china boss israel uh, Iran, Brazil, India, okay, this South Africa possibly. This country you can just you can them you can't push them around. Pakistan, you own Pakistan. I would have included Pakistan, but Pakistan now is too comfortable. That's the problem with Pakistan. Too comfortable and the corruption makes them being comfortable. Now we have this article. The sign that BRICS, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. And other, like the, what was it, the Belt Road or something like that, well, the Belts and Belts and Road, uh, the Chinese with 120 countries that participated in the last one, 120 out of 193 on this planet. Now you tell me when Al Capone whistles for his little dogs to come over, how many come over? I tell you exactly how many. You're going to have European countries, vassal states, you got about what, 27? 27 EU countries. Then you got one or two outside, all right? And then you got, I'm talking about Australia, New Zealand. Then you got South Korea. Then you got Japan and obviously Canada. And then you got Palau, Pakalamau, Tsupulkau, Afalakau. Everything about 60 countries at the most. That, those are the countries that would answer Al Capone's whistle. Unless some other ones want to come to Al Capone because Al Capone will threaten them or will say, we're going to give you money, you come here and show up, bribes and so on. 
Now, the same, the, it's not the same thing with Briggs. Briggs gets people that were kicked in the teeth by Al Capone all these years and more. So it's, uh, Briggs forms as a resentment and a protection or uh, organization, uh, not as a, uh, oh, let's get together because it necessarily is better. It's better because we get pro protected from the good guy Al Capone. But these guys here will not say that. Like, for instance, get the clearest example of delusion. Why is China together with Russia and not China together with the United States of America? It could have been that way. Because the United States of America sees the world, I alone, I'm in charge, which is great if you can do it, but they can't. So unfortunately, they lost this because, the, not lost, they lost control because they allowed capital to go out unchecked. Therefore, China grew. Remember, I am a, I am, or if you don't, I am a believer, or I'm a, I think, let's put it this way, that without the Western investments from the West in China, China would be, and I'm not saying this to uh, hurt anybody's feeling, probably the same in 19, like it was 1978, 79, 90, uh, 78, or 80, 82, 83, the same kind of level. So these guys, allowing the capital to invest, brought them to closer, brought them closer. Look at the economy of the United States then versus China, and it coincides the economy of China with the investment from the Western countries. Without that, the same thing. So I'm saying this not because I, I don't like the Chinese or anybody. I don't give a shit. What I care is about truth and justice. So here it is. These guys are getting bigger and bigger, and they will say, that's all right. The same thing they said about China and Russia. That's all right. They're weak. They can't challenge us. They challenge you militarily. They challenge you economically. They challenge you globally. And you're still saying, ah, they're too small. That's, 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 that's de delusional. Let's read this article. So we have here, including Bolsonaro. This is a former Brazilian president. So we got uh, Cyril Ramposa, we got Narendra Modi, we got Xi Jinping, we got Vladimir Putin, and we got this uh, Bolsonaro. Now we got the pimp Millet who broke away <laughs> and he is a uh, vassal state of the United States of America's owners. Hong Kong, nearly three dozen, three dozen nearly, it's about what, 36? A dozen is 12, right? So well, about 30 countries countries are seeking entry into China, into the China and Russia-backed BRICS econ economic group. Member state South Africa said Wednesday, weeks after the body expanded its membership for the first time in more than a decade. 34 countries have submitted an expression of interest in joining the bloc of major emerging, um, emerging economies. And these are some of them some of them, and I'm going to show to you which one. So first, Russia was accepting those applications after resuming rotation chair chairmanship of the group this year and will be the first member to oversee the body since it significantly expanded its global footprint at the start of the year when Iran, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, Ethiopia and Egypt formally joined. Now, and Argentina also, but Millet withdrew it. Iran. 82 million people, Saudi Arabia, oil and money, and uh, strategic position, United Arab Emirates, oil and money, and strategically positioned, Ethiopia, strategic position, Egypt, strategic position. Look at them that way. The growing membership is widely viewed as a win for China and Russia, it's widely. Should be uh, maybe seen unanimously, not widely widely. No, unanimously. But anyway, whatever. You can have a different opinion, obviously. Or assessment, which have sought to reshape an international system they see as unfairly dominated by the United States amid growing frictions with Washington and the West. They didn't, they indeed, because look what happened. If you want to participate in the so-called global trade, that's controlled by the West. London, New York. Stock exchange and to a lesser extent, Nikkei, whatever, Japan, which is, I think, nothing. It could be just got rid of. And I'm not going to get the Germans in. Okay. So those two, 
in order to get loans from International Monetary Fund and IMF and uh, World Bank, you, those are in America, by the way, uh, in US, that's how they're located. In order to do that, you have to uh, uh, be in good relations with the boss. If the boss says no, you're done. And you can't get loans from anywhere else, because if you do, then you're going to have a regime change. So then, imagine if you want to do banking transactions, you have to use SWIFT messaging system. If these guys don't want you to use BRICS, they got you out, like they did with Russia. Now, if they don't like you, they freeze your assets in the West. Now, you want to do business with such a group of people? No, you don't want to do. If I invest somewhere and all of a sudden I have a problem with a neighbor and you don't like that, you are going to punish me like a teacher punishes a student by freezing my assets over there, having nothing to do with you. But you decide that I should stop because your political interest. Why would I invest in you anymore? How about I create something parallel with you? Now, when you don't provide insurance to my vessels across the globe to do commerce, right? What am I supposed to do? I create my own institutions, my own uh, insurance companies. And I'm going to be ha having two parallel, parallel blocks with institutions. We're going to have a different one. We're going to have a SWIFT. We have the Russian system and Chinese system that's already working, but much smaller. You understand? They're going to create something parallel so these guys cannot blackmail everyone they want. Everyone. I mean, resentment and also protection. BRICS, which since 2011 had been made out, out of Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, roughly positions itself as a global South answer to the group of seven. They already uh, surpassed that, I think. Major develop, developed countries, as economies and uh, population. China has been a key driver of its expansion as leader Xi Jinping pushed an alternative world order, forging closer partnership with key global players from Russia, the Middle East and strengthened international bodies where Beijing holds sway. It was not only Xi Jinping, but they make it that way, so they insult Russia. That's what it's holding. It's true that being an, uh, being an economic bloc, China is the biggest economy, so has the uh, heaviest, strongest uh, word over there. So let's see. What uh, last year all member state uh, leaders besides Putin gathered? Oh, okay, yeah, because he can do this and you can do this. This year, this year's event is expected to take place in October in the southwestern city of Kazan in Russia, right? Yeah. So let's see anything else here. Mm, right here, the new co cohort countries join as BRICS pushes toward more diplomatic and financial coordination. That's the exactly what I said, coordination meaning breaking away from those guys, creating our own separate system, including reform of the United Nations Security Council and a move away from a US dominated trade system, which is a racket. We give you papers, paper or numbers and you give us products. And if you want to go and uh, uh, have energy, well, you have to pay only with our paper. So you pay with you, and then that's how the money circulates. That's how it has value. Now, when they're going to say, no, we don't accept only your dollar or euro, we accept uh, the yuan or the ruble or whatever else, these guys have to start producing something because they can't just give paper and receive goods in return. All right? Because th those guys need the dollar to buy oil, they're going to give us goods made up. People work for the manufactured this give us and we give them services how much give them some dollars pop pop zoop 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 they go buy that and it rotates so we can print how much we want oh, it's inflation don't worry inflation affects us more than those guys with big money why because they have investments for them inflation is an opportunity for us is a disaster because we don't have enough to maneuver we don't have money liquidities or assets to maneuver we don't, barely make it that's why we can't invest and take advantage and be a, I don't know, profiteer like uh, Georgi, the, you know, the Hungarian philanthropist, billionaire, George. <sighs> Thank you very much for being me again today. Yeah, don't be delusional. Those guys are already growing bigger, bigger. China said they're going to support Russia in the Ukraine uh, issue. Straight out. Yesterday I made a video on that. The uh, chief of the Chinese military said that. What does it tell you? 
The North Korean gives them give them supposedly weapons. The Chinese give them weapons. The Iranians give them weapons. What does that mean? We are these guys against these guys, and it's gonna get even uh, it's gonna grow even worse for these guys here, unless they succeed on destroying uh, Russia's leadership. And but that's gonna be a bigger problem because Russia is unlike United States of America, where potentially um, what's his name uh, the president. If he pushes the button to uh, release some uh, nuclear weapons, they would just be released. You know, in Russia, if the president pushes the button, the generals have the right, the guys that have it, to override the president's decision. So if I push the button, like Trump, hey, you gotta find out what's going on that guy, and the FBI said, yeah, yeah, DOJ, yeah, we'll do it. Pfft. Nothing. The same here. Putin can push that button how much he wants. If those generals say no, we won't do that, no missile will be launched. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.